Oh shoot, I got a bug in my coffee. Good day YouTube. Welcome to my channel. My name is Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. In today's video, I'm gonna take down my 0543 foot antenna and um, I think I'm gonna sell it. But what I'm gonna do in its place, I'm gonna refurbish my DX Commander and put it in its place right here where the 05 antenna sits. So here's the uh, 05. I took out the 421 on on and I'm going to use the existing ground radials for the DX Commander and see how I could rig that up to set it up and uh, attach to that post right there. Currently my DX Commander sits right here and I'm going to replace those spreaders because those spreaders are cracked. I'll give you a closer look. It's right there. I got replacement with the uh, heavy duty marine grade, but there are some fracture cracks there. That's because when I have it guide down, I'm using that and I put a lot of pressure to guide the DX Commander. So a lot of forces are going down so it it bend that plastic. I have an antenna that's in the way. It's called the uh, 80 meter double bazooka. So I'm going to try to just maneuver it around the wire. The neat thing about the 05 antenna, it's easy to put up and down. So if you get a storm coming, you could uh, bring it down quite easily. The bottom bolt is your pivot point and just remove the top bolt okay the top bolts coming out now yeah I cleared it Look at that bolt. See, I have that anti seize jet lube, and I put some in between where the the base of the antenna makes contact with the tilting bracket right there. I have the antenna sprayed, spray painted in camouflage, just to conceal it from onlookers, particularly my city. I've already talked to them about it and they know about my antennas that I'm a ham radio operator. So the antenna is in good shape. I'm just going to separate it and clean up the connections and uh, pack it up and uh, put this for sale. I no longer need it here because uh, I'm going to be using the DX Commander. I just got some Dawn dishwashing detergent just to clean it up, clean the elements up. So let me remove the elements, each section, and all the hose clamps. See how it comes off so easy? And I have the the jet lube So that's the base mount from the 05. So I'm going to figure a way how I can put my DX Commander Classic onto that base. And moving along over here, 
I've got all the elements cleaned up. There's a lot of elements. Okay, so that's the elements. And we got the screws over here just drying. I got those cleaned up as well. Here are the bolts, the plate, and all the hose clamps associated along with the uh, C-clamps. All right, so take a look at this. These are the new clamps right here. So looks like they're using a socket and that's an eight millimeter socket. So I got an eight millimeter here and it fits in there. The whole pretty nice and snug. The spreaders are brand new. A replacement to my original classics. And here they are. So look at this, heavy duty, pretty stout. And look at the thickness. Okay, I've cleaned my radiating plates, so that's clean, and my my ground ground plates, it's all clean. You know, a little bit of corrosion, and all the wing nuts, screws, washers, and so forth. It's all cleaned up. Uh, even the SO239 we have here, it's all cleaned, and um, we're running out of daylight. If you look outside, the sun is already set it, kind of gray skies, and yet uh, my antenna, by the way, here's my antenna. I collapsed it. So I cleaned it. You know what? I put some uh, WD-40 in between the, the seams so I can um, uh, collapse it. So that's what we have there. It's collapsed, and I'm going to extend it. Maybe I'll do that to, uh, tomorrow, but uh, I'm going to put new radials, uh, new wires, so that uh, refurbish the whole the whole thing. Okay, check this out. I'm gonna make sure we label this correctly. So I got the plans here on the DX Commander. We're using the blue dash lines. So if this is the SO239 right here, that's the SO239. The blue line, I'm going to use 80 meters here, 10 meters here, 17, 15 and 40 here, 12 meters here, 20 meters here. So it matches the diagram. So I have it properly labeled. All right, day two on this project, removing the 05 antenna and putting in its place the DX Commander along with refurbishing. Let me show you what I did so far. This here is the new cutting chart that Callum posted and what I'm doing is looking at the classic and I made my elements last night. Check out this high vis, high visibility elements. Man, that's going to be beautiful. And I've also color coded my plate, my radiating plate, because sun tends to fade these numbers. So at least I have a color coding there and it's color coded onto my uh, cables as well. So refurbished, I basically cleaned all the plates with all the corrosion. I didn't replace this 
So it's still in good condition. What I'm talking about is this uh, feed wire. Here's the plan. Scheduled 40 pipe. The outer one is a one and a one half inch diameter. And the one on the top is one and a quarter. So I put them inside. I also have some stainless steel bolts. I have a crisscross pattern so it doesn't twist on me. I put it here. I'm gonna get that hose clamp there. Put two hose clamps on this mast. And then I'm going to put the DX Classic. Put this tube on the inside of the DX Commander. So it's gonna go from the top it's going to sink all the way down to this stop here where that screw is located that's where it's going to sit so all this tube from here all the way up to this top that's all going to support the DX Commander Classic this is what we got we got the PVC connected to the pipe and as you see there, I'm using three to five inches. Those are the stainless steel hose clamps. And I put some plastic tubing around the clamp to prevent chaffing. I mean, this is stout. This is, this is not going to move. So, and it's like doubled. You can see there, it's like double um, tubed. All right, so that's an inch and a half on the outer and then inch and a quarter on the inner all right so we're going to uh, test the plumbing so we're going to measure the length from the base where the DX commander will sit all the way to the top it's two feet one inches in this portion of the video, I'm going to show you how I fold back my elements. And I'm just going to do one for now and the remainder will be the same. So look at the color code. I got green is my 10 meters. I'll do the green or the 10 meter element. This is the cutting chart here for the classic. And over to the 10 meter side. It's going to be six centimeters for the fold back. I didn't have any more fork connectors, so I used one of these eyelets. Uh, here we go. Just going to route that there. Man, this high visibility wire is blinding me. <laughs> My God, can you see that? All right, so I'm gonna route this 10 meters uh, through those uh, through those spreaders. Okay, it's nice to have a metric measuring tape. Okay, there's six centimeters. I want to create a loop like this because I'm going to put that 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 bungee cord through here to give it some springing action. And here, I'm just going to put some electrical tape. So here's the old one versus the newer one. So yeah, the diameter is uh, almost twice as thick as the original. And this clip won't work. So it's a good thing I had some of these carabiners. So I'm gonna use these stainless steel carabiners. I don't have any smaller ones, but I'm going to use these bigger ones. That's all I have right now. So I got this carabiner. As I was putting this on, see how it snapped right here? That's the weak point. So I'm just going to use this temporarily until it fatigues later. 
and I just replace it or just tie this bungee cord onto this carabiner. Now this is how I connect it. I'll take that knot, put it through the loop. And that's it. This is the final product, the DX Commander fully restored, kind of refurbished, I guess. We have the elements color-coded there. I put colors because these labels here, once uh, it bakes in the sun, through time they end up disappearing. And I got each of the wires color-coded as well. As far as grounding radials, ground radials are mounted here. I got five contacts on that ground plate. That's eight gauge wire. And all of that wire is making contact with the ground radial plate. For example, here, here in a corner, there at the clamp, and then two, two more here. I forget how many ground rods I got here. I think I got four located. So there's one here. There's two. And there's three. And the fourth one is in the access uh, drain right there. I have connected a common mode choke from Ballon Design. There's the model number and it's uh, also connected to the lightning arrestor there. So it turned out very nice. Again, this is a one and a half inch uh, scheduled 40 PVC and on the inside is a one and a quarter scheduled 40 and I have two bolts you get a bolt here right here and there's another one where's it at it's blocked and it's right here so what this bolt these two bolts has a purpose it prevents twisting of the pvc on the inside and this one here prevents the dx commander mask from sinking in all the way And that inch and a quarter pipe goes all the way up to this marking here. I, I like that mark here, those lines. So it stops right here. On the top spreader, you will see three guy ropes coming down. And also about eight inch from that spreader is my inverted L and it's sagging and it goes to that building right there, that little shed. I thought that I had to actually add wire so that I could be resonant on a certain frequency. And I called my buddy Mike, KG2 Mike Mike. He says, why don't you go ahead and use the SWR calculator that Callum has on his website? So cool, let me uh, go back inside. Let me show you the current SWR and use his calculator, Callum's calculator, and see whether if I need to add or cut this 80 meter inverted L. We'll use uh, 03950. That's the target frequency for now. I'm gonna run the sweep. So right now the minimum is 4.1 at 3570. So let's remember that and let's go over to the uh, calculator. Okay, welcome to my desktop. And uh, this is where we go. We're gonna go to uh, DX Commander 
SWR calculator. You do a search and uh, the very first page. So this is Callum's um, calculator here. You can download it for Excel right here or you can do it on the web itself. So here's the resonant frequency now. It's resonant to 3570. Okay, and then my target frequency I want is 3950. And then we calculate. What you're looking for is right here. The standard quarter wave element. I need to cut 100 87.96 centimeters and that comes out to roughly uh, six feet so I'm going to fold it back I'm not going to actually cut it because in case you don't want to fine-tune it it's better to fold it and uh, we'll retest it okay so I need to fold back about six feet you know six feet it's a lot to fold back Okay, let's put it back up and then let's retest. Four, 4.0, 3.2, not bad. That's where I was targeting right here. And the SWR is, it, it's decent around what I want. I want 39.50. There's 39.50, which gives me a 3.37. So let me go and try the built-in antenna tuner of the RF2KS amplifier. Okay, this is the DX Commander. We're on the frequency of 39.50. Tuning. 1.13 that's awesome so it works thanks for watching guys my name is darren and my amateur radio call sign is n4 vfr hey and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider to subscribe leave me a comment and then I'll click on that like button so 73s till next video have a great day